Last week, an extraordinary event took place in the USSR. For the very first time in recent history, a Jewish choir was invited to perform a series of concerts for the people of Moscow and Kiev. Well, here are the London School of Jewish Song. They've just returned and they're singing Anim Zmirot, which means I will delight with tunes. <laughs> good time especially you you look like you're loving it <laughs> well you can imagine what an impact songs like that must have had in russia where jews have been starved of their religious heritage for so long were you really surprised to be invited I, yes I, I definitely I, I didn't I think, think we would i says get children of our age have never been to russia before now, i believe that you got a wonderful response when you got there what yes, were the yes, people yes, like what was the they, they, they greeted us some of them they treated us as if we like were like people kids. from the government really they were just really pl and we've got a home video of here you are singing do people join in with the songs and everything yeah yes. 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 and every two minutes they pick the words out and every two minutes people came up from the stage and had some bad Mm. Why do you think the response was so great? Because they've never seen anything like that before. They were just so surprised. And was it mainly older young people at the concert? Oh, it was mainly, mainly older. Mainly adults, older. 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 quite a few children older. pleased to see us as well. But do you think the religion is dying out a little bit amongst the children? Amongst the children, yes. But they're getting better, they're getting better. You're all speaking at once here. What for you was the most memorable thing? Well, in the synagogue, we sang a few, we sang quite a few songs um, and they were just they were just they, co they couldn't help themselves they just just kept on they joined in they were dancing singing they were kissing all of us they were they just couldn't help themselves oh, fabulous do you think since glasnost that it's become a little bit easier for jewish people in russia because now they show the around them they they were the yamukas now in public but they're still not allowed to people, and they practice their own religion, religion to the children so it's, so it's still a little bit yeah. Yeah. yeah but do you think the future of it looks very good yeah well that's great thank you very much for coming along and singing today it was fabulous what an experience for them, eh? Yeah. Fantastic. Man, it's always an experience when you go to Russia. <laughs> we'll be back on Thursday with dinosaur remains from the place where they never expected to find dinosaurs. And news of our mystery object competition and, wait for it, save your cereal packets. Now we'll be showing you how to turn them into something very useful. But to end the programme, we have a rousing number which had everyone on their feet in Moscow and Kiev. It's the London School of Jewish Song with Sheer Sheer, which means song, song. And before that starts, must say that the end, the competition date, the closing date for the Prince's Royal Competition is the 19th of April. So get the question in before then. Here's a song. <laughs> Shit, shit, you're going
enjoy that. 